archives of Prasar Bharti presents the timeless treasure of golden era. tip of Bengal lies the Duars, gateway to the east, a green expanse of rainforests and tea plantations. The leopard is the most common predator in this region. The tea gardens have offered a natural home to these animals for more than a hundred years. Little cubs, abandoned by disturbed leopards, are often found by garden workers. At times, these forsaken cubs are even eaten by some local tribal. But usually, they are rescued by the forest department. At the Baksa Tiger Reserve and at Madari Hat in the Jaldapara Sanctuary, leopard rehabilitation centers have been set up for these destitute cubs. Almost 20 leopards ranging from very young cubs to three to four year olds are sustained by the forest department in these two sanctuaries. Supervised with care and provided with their basic needs, there is little lacking in the lives of these animals, except their freedom. Releasing them in the forest is not a viable solution as they are incapable of hunting in the wild and tend to return to the shelter looking for food and the luxury of human care. No zoos want to absorb the leopards as most are filled to capacity with these animals. With no special facilities available, the future for this center is uncertain. Undeterred by the logistical problems, the local forest officials of Raja Bhatkhava have a small home for lost and injured animals. A rare golden langur, a baby cheetah, and a lost barking deer fawn, all find sanctum in this animal orphanage. For the people who run it, the dilemmas are many. Too many leopard inmates, endless arrivals of helpless cubs, and resources dwindling. The questions remain unanswered. Where from here? Should the animals be left to perish? Does conservation become valid only when extinction is inevitable? <laughs> 